back with another episode of Uncivil War with your man, Karma, a.k.a. Karma Don, a.k.a. Karma Chameleon, a.k.a. Karma Sutra, depending on how I feel. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and my co-host, <laughs> D-Trill, Trillion. D-Trill, D, D trill <laughs> Introduce our guest, man. We got a special guest. We got a special guest. Uh, this is this is a really good friend of mine. Uh, this is Miss Lashandra Statham of Georgia Sweet Teas. You don't have to say my full government. Though. No, no, nobody, <laughs> nobody's gonna um, hack your account. Um, but don't say the government. Right. No. She's like, wanted. Like, She's on the run. I have warrants, y'all don't know. Nah, I'm man. I, d- I don't. Well, <laughs> the last the last name was a lie, y'all. Y'all figure it out. But uh, <laughs> she's really, really good friend of mine. Um, somebody that does really great work. Entrepreneur, mom, school teacher, all around great person. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, I definitely um wanted to have you on and. Pick your mind about a few things and, and, okay. and um, you know, just have you tell us about the the sweet teas or the the motivation behind it. Okay. What made you want to do it? Give give us give us the 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 origin story. <laughs> yes, yeah. The origin story. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, um cool name by the way. Georgia sweet tea. Yeah, that's Georgia, Georgia is known for <laughs> I love sweet, it. Yeah, sweet tea. I love it. I, get, I see what you did there. Yeah. You, yeah. you just got it. No, no, no. I just oh, wanted okay. to let them know. I, oh, okay, okay. I got, <laughs> I got it off the rip. So, you know. <laughs> okay, well, um, my origin story. Let's see. Um, it's kind of layered. Like, I've always liked like quotes and sayings and words. Like, when I was a kid, um, my mom gave me a book of. African Proverbs, and then another book of quotes. And I guess she must have liked them, too, because she gave them to me. So um, that just kind of drew my attention to, like, words. You know, I love words. So that flipped to words on Mm T-shirts. You know, my Mm -hmm. favorite T-shirt is not necessarily a graphic, but just, like, a nice slogan. Something catchy. I love sarcasm, you know. So um, anything that's witty in nature. That's just my thing. So that flipped to, okay, put it on a shirt. Right. So um, about 10 years ago, um, you know how, you know, rappers have a rap journal. Right. So I just started writing down like t-shirt ideas. So I had a thick notebook with like t-shirt ideas. Nice, nice. And then I said, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to quit my job. And I quit my job. Wow. (laughs) That's brave. Yeah, but it wasn't playing well. Right. So then it wasn't executed well. Mm -hmm. And so then I went back to my job (laughs) because I didn't really know what I was doing. I definitely know what that's like. Right. (laughs) Right. (laughs) So, which I, you know, I didn't feel too bad about it. You know, being a teacher, I knew, you know, if this doesn't work, I'll always have a job. Mm -hmm. So um, I quit my job. You know, had my rap journal, my slash, you know, flash t shirt <laughs> notebook, had all these great yeah, ideas. Just, my verses. Yeah, right. Your verses. But I didn't know anything about the business. I didn't know anything about anything business related. Right. You gotcha, know, gotcha. so all I knew is that I was creative. I like shirts and I wanted to do something else. Right. So, long story short, I went back to work and about four years ago, um, Someone that I knew, you know, at the time had a cousin that was doing T-shirts. So I just started picking her brain. Like, what are you doing? How are you doing this? So found out about, you know, vinyl cutters, stuff like that. Um, Mm -hmm. But, you know, most people, when they are doing something, they're only going to give you so much. And then it's like, all right, you know, I'm not going to give you all the secrets. So Mm -hmm. went on YouTube, YouTube University, (laughs) um, learned everything. um, and then I just went from there, you know, um, got nice. my little documents in order and just took off. But nice. so now I'm kind of like walking the line, you know, I'm still a teacher full time, but, you know, I still do the business thing. And it's kind of like I want parts of me want to just be a full time entrepreneur, but right, right. I'm still scared. It's kind of like um but you love you love teaching though. I do. Yeah. yeah. But see, it's so, this is like a horrible analogy. And if it doesn't sound good, I'm gonna blame it on headache medicine that I said right, earlier. Right. Fair, fair enough. Fair I'm enough. listening. <laughs> so 
imagine being in a, a relationship with somebody you love. Mm. Right? Mm-hmm. It's stable, you mm. know, um, secure. Right. They know you, you know it. No doubt. You know, you could do it with your eyes closed. You still. But then you meet somebody else and you're like, oh, okay. Some parts of you that awaken some parts of me that I didn't know were in there. Mm. And that mm. would be like my creative side. Gotcha. Mm. So I, you know, started exploring that other person. Right. And then I was like, dang. That's a great analogy. I really analogy. like you. I know, right? <laughs> That's a great analogy. I like that. I like that. Yeah, yeah. So I started exploring that and it pulled me away from that stable person right. <laughs> that right. I knew. And right. I was like, okay, well. Do I give my all to this familiar thing right. or do I explore something new? Yeah. And then what I later decided was why not have both, you know? Like you always say, yeah, why both not? Do both. You know what I'm Be saying? Good, yeah. You know. Both of y'all are right. So yeah. so yeah. you so you you're in a polygamous uh relationship <laughs> with your with your career then. Polygamy is illegal. So I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Polyamorous, <laughs> right? With your with your career, with your with your yeah. Yeah. Okay. The I, only I problem you. is, you know, in those situations, not that I know from real situations, but what I'm finding out from business is that mm-hmm. somebody's gonna suffer. Either person number one, yeah. person number two, or you. Right. So I'm right, juggling right, right. all three of us right now. No know? doubt. Yeah. So. Yeah. Man, that's great. That's great. <laughs> Yeah. So what? Let me ask you this: what, uh-huh. what do you feel? What are you more passionate about? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's like both. Like I love teaching. I right. love working with kids. I love when that light bulb goes off. I love, right. you know, like today I left work early because I wasn't feeling well, mm-hmm. and my whole class was like, "Oh, we love you. I hope you feel better. You're gonna be here tomorrow." Right. And I was just like, "Now I want to leave," you know. Yeah. But then there are parts of the career that drive me crazy. <laughs> like if I could just stay in my room and close the door right. and nobody come in, I would be good forever. Now yeah. with the shirt thing. You know, it allows me to be creative, mm-hmm. um, set my own hours, mm-hmm. work when I want to, right. sit down when I want to. You know, there's a certain amount of fulfillment that comes from getting something right, you know. Right. So um, I'm I'm truly in the middle, you know. Let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. W- what side of the equation that would would disappoint you the most if not fulfilled? Mm. That's a um, good question. Yeah, that is a good question. That's a great question. (laughs) Um, What would disappoint me the most? Okay, so I think I lean more towards my full time because it's more stable. Right. And lack of stability scares me. So Everybody. Right. But there are some people that can walk away from careers and pursue that entrepreneurial thing full time <laughs> with no problem. Yeah, I go walk and be away from okay. a career and not pursue a damn thing. But but <laughs> just but, be like, yeah, I just walked la- away from that. But there's <laughs> lack of uncertainty on on whether you're pursuing a career or you're right. being an entrepreneur. Yeah. So right. honestly you're either way you're taking a chance, right? That's true. Because there's no such thing as job security. Come on. Jobs fold, there's in my field there is. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna let you finish. No, okay. no, <laughs> no, I mean, no, no, no. I, I, I hear what you. She's I know what you're saying. I know exactly yeah, what you're saying. So right. there's, there's, in certain situations, you have more security with certain things, right? right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I get that. Mm-hmm. Um, however, you can create a entrepreneurial situation for yourself. True. That and pad it with security. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? You can mm-hmm. build that mansion and build a moat around it, and you and you got your security. You just got to be smart about it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And just think, you know, like, okay, treat it, treat it like a job would treat you. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're yeah. paying yourself. Yeah. Um, okay. My job gives me benefits. And of course it's a different route altogether. Right. I'm not saying it's easy to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So there might be a little bit more risk, right? But I think the big I think the biggest the biggest go between or the biggest separation or differential is courage. It requires a, it requires more courage to do the uh, the entrepreneurial journey. Mm-hmm, uh, right. it's, it, Absolutely, the, the, nobody nobody is going to blame anybody for liking stability. Right, nobody mm-hmm. like like except for Damon Dash. You know what I'm saying? Like he's like the only one. That, right. you, y'all want to work for them motherfuckers forever? <laughs> right, right, it's right. Like, 
Cause yeah. I've been, like, I get, I get I paid six hundred thousand dollars a year, right. man. <laughs> but, right. but you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, right. but it's like, it's like the courage that it takes to say. First of all, entrepreneurial failure is is <clears throat> detrimental. Like you can be homeless, right? You know what I'm saying? You can right. be, but like. If you're yep, dead, yep. if you're dead set on just doing that, you know you can always fall. You can always go into you the can, workforce. You can be you can be a th- you can be a thousand percent engaged in that in that journey mm-hmm. or trying to do what you're trying to mm-hmm. and still fail. Mm-hmm. Now, when you're nine to five, your your what do your failures look like there? That <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, well, I, I'll I, say I, this: at my nine to five, my failures don't stop me from eating. They know that's business, that, that's I think my that's my point. That's, that's, that's my point. point. Right. Right. Yeah. That's his point. Yeah. So I so that's what I'm saying. Like the the difference the difference is the amount of courage that mm-hmm. you are willing to put. Because at the end of the day, the way you explain the entrepreneur thing, mm-hmm. it's really going to give you the same reward. People like to say you get more money. I think the the the, the more the the um the beautiful thing about it is that you know you you're not really answering to anybody. You, right. You, right. You figure That's it out. Lovely. You figure it out yeah. how to do things on your own accord. Right. A lot of freedom in there. Mm-hmm. Right. right. But see, but see, she don't work the entire summer. She don't work the end. Wait, we could we could yo. That's something that you, we cannot just walk past. No doubt. Right, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I, so, I, I hear you. With, 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 with jobs, there there are you know, and and it's crazy me over here defending <laughs> jobs, yo. But but um, that with jobs, that that is a balance, man. And y'all yeah. are both right. Y'all, are, you know what I'm saying? It's, right. it's That's why I ask. Like the the real question is, it don't come. It comes down to what side of it. What would disappoint you the most right. if if which one of them would not be fulfilled? Right. Right. Whichever right, one you right, don't right. fulfill, which one of them that will hurt you the most? You know what I'm saying? And I feel like, and I'm not trying to steer you in a direction, right. but I feel like <laughs> yeah. I feel like you fulfill the, the teacher thing. Listen to them, you know conversations we previously previously had or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yo, you've done a great job. You've done mm-hmm. that. You came from one point to another with it. You know. Right. Mm-hmm. So I mean, yeah. I mean, and you also have done a great job with the tea. I'm wearing yeah. one. I am a giant <laughs> fan of yours. Right. Yo, yeah, you I, do I, got right. some. You, y- 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 y'all need to check out her. Um, check <laughs> out. Her check out. Check out. Check out her Instagram. She, I think. I uh, yeah, LA put it out. This is this is one of them. I mean, she I'm, has I'm a lot of nice, a lot of nice, a lot of nice stuff, and it's and it's really good work. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people are like duplicating stuff. You yeah. have some original stuff. On this there. is the original. I'm like, man, I came, I came to her with the idea. I was couldn't like, even no, find it. I anywhere. sent it to well, her. Well, that's the point. So, yeah. right. you know, with a lot of you know t-shirt companies, they are mass producing their own t-shirt line, mm-hmm. and that was my initial thought. But it just kind of morphed into right. custom tees. Right. You know, you, you tell me what you want. The creativity and the the, the consumer. Well, it's hand. your create. Right. right. Yeah. 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 It's your creativity. I so. love And that. this is not a sweet tea tea, but I am. So we're gonna cover I, I it like, back up then. I like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Right. I, but my my point is, you know, mm-hmm. I, first of all, I love graphic tees, and me there's too, a lot yeah. of people like you make a statement wearing your tea. Your tees mm-hmm. make a statement. Right. You know what I'm saying. Right. So yeah, it's like, you know. When I look at yours, mm-hmm. like like I said, they're original. They're all saying something. Yeah, you know what different, I'm saying. Yeah. So I I like it. I like it. It's it's Thank definitely you. different. So mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, but getting back on um what you were saying, okay. The, I I wanted to make a point. Like the, so I think the one thing that that you would consider right mm-hmm. with with taking that entrepreneurial journey mm-hmm. is if you have well for one if you have kids. That's another thing. And that's where because my mind like, was going next, yeah. <laughs> now, I'm kids. at a point now, um, my daughter is 19, a sophomore in college. Mm-hmm. So my life is taking a different shift now. Mm-hmm. Whereas, you know, 10 years ago, you know, I'm a single parent, you know, it's just me and her. I'm her only source of everything. Right, right, I can't right, be out right. here taking risks, right. you know, because you still got to eat. You still got fees for this, that, whatever. Yep. So, but now I'm at a point now where my life is more my own, you know, in two, three years, she'll be out the house, God willing, please move out, you know. <laughs> she'll be out the house. And, then, no and then once she does, you're going to be like, please come back. I miss you. I don't know, though. 
for a little bit, you're she gonna be like, you're gonna now, be like, yay, really. I got free. And then you're gonna be like, damn, I, I miss, I miss I'm my, just I miss kidding. my no, girl. No, I, I told him we He knows. Me and my baby are like, gonna this. Be like so I'm really talking girl. a lot of junk. <laughs> I know you're talking yeah. trash. <laughs> Trust me, you're a mother, you're talking trash. Right, That's all. Right. Yeah. You, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that for a long time is what scared me too. You mm -hmm. know, that goes back to that stability piece, you know. Yep. Um, you know, yep. it just scares me to not have it. So Okay. Okay. So what was the what was the most challenging thing you know in your journey like to to get everything started um just learning you know right. figuring everything out getting in that rhythm of like what it actually was gonna be you know mm -hmm. um like i said that learning curve i was telling him the other day when i started i was using my household iron to earn wow. letters on because I didn't know any better. Right, right, right. And then, you know, and it'd be peeling off like after yes. two days. Like yes. <laughs> you wash it and wash Shout it. Shout out off. to my friends for still supporting <laughs> me and still ordering stuff over yeah. and over again, Got even you. though stuff was peeling off. That's but, cool. Um, you had some true supporters. Yeah. Yeah. People stuck by you. So just learning um the business. I'm mm -hmm. still learning. Um I forgot the question. <laughs> no, no, the most challenging part. Oh, the know? most challenging so, part. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just learning. Let me let me ask you this. I because I'm always like I had the conversation with my other um homeboy, the um triple OG guy, the Big Keith. Shout out to Big Keith who do mm -hmm. my triple OG joints, who got the whole like nice, line or whatever. Nice, mm -hmm. nice line. Yeah. But you know, he had called me one day and was like, "Man, um." Man, I really do appreciate your support. Mm -hmm. But he actually took a turn. I actually didn't even think that he was. He said, he said, um, and I appreciate you not asking for a discount. Mm. Well, I mean, let me tell you my, let me tell you the way I look at it. I, and I don't ask you for it. I don't. Right. Yo, when I came when I, I came in when I came in here today, I was wearing a Ralph Lauren uh, zip, up, zip up joint. Yeah. I don't. I don't ever. Man, you know, you know, we work that, you know what I'm saying? You know, you, low, you, you, I can't believe this. New York has the low life. God. You like a low life. We, we call them low life, low. but they used to boost polo. But, right. Um, I right. call you, I, I, I'm like, you're an honorary low life because you always stay I was polo. polo. Yeah. Yeah. That, yo, <laughs> you always stay. He's always. Damn. <laughs> now I don't want to have nothing to do with it. And it's because of the mindset of people like her, Keith, and right. several, and just, I just go online and just see who doing whatever, mm -hmm. and right, I want right, to. Right. I want to support that, and I want to be seen in that. And it, and it is. He's told. He said, "Man, he said, I really appreciate you not asking for a discount because I get that a lot. Yeah, you know, I get. Yep. To, mm -hmm. You know, he he actually sell his hoodies and what. I ain't gonna put the prices out there because mm -hmm. I don't know what he telling nobody. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but 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 um. But he but he but he just was like, yo, man. You never for one, once asked for one. Mm -hmm. And I said, hey, man, I can't ask for ask Ralph Lauren for one. I say that all the time. I can't go I to him and say, time. yo, let me get this purple label that's mm -hmm. joint that's $114. Yeah, let but me take get it for $40 off. Right, but, like, you, but you know what? If, if yeah. they stood Ralph Lauren right over there and, and you was holding up, you wouldn't even ask him for it. You wouldn't ask him. Yeah. You would be afraid. Right. You'd be honored you'll to be, pay that $114. And be like, yeah, look, you, I bought, you would be telling him I bought it. Let me tell you something. <laughs> yeah. I've I've overpaid. You know, for 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 things that you know, for my friends' businesses mm -hmm. and products right. that they, right. you know, right. right. Um, and that, you know, I've had somebody chase me down. Yo, you gave me this. I'm like, mm -hmm. I know, I know how much it costs. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, you good. So the value was in it's, 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 right. It's, it's support. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying. So mm -hmm. I feel I'm glad you said that. That like. That's, that's, my, so that's important, my question. Man. That was my and I'm crazy. I'm why I'll be having a question and then I go into a story and never ask the question. But like, what's like? Have you like? What's I know? I mean, you people will see this, and you got a lot of customers and shit. I don't want you to be like <laughs> I will... that. Uh, that last week, a motherfucker right, was right, like, right, you right. know, I don't want yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I always do that. <laughs> I always do. But but I got you know, shirts at home now. Right, that motherfucker. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, but that's uh, hilarious. We, tell tell us what that's what that's like having to maneuver through, like you know, being on the ground level and, and having to deal with like that kind of thing. Um, I mean, of course, it's it's annoying. You know what I mean? Um, right. I did when everybody was doing the the red flag post. Remember on IG for a minute? Yeah. So mine was you oh, know red yeah, flag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Right. When they, I think it was something like when they asked for a discount. Or say my prices are too high, yeah. and you don't consider the time 
attention oh to God. detail. And the fact <laughs> that you are asking for a custom piece, something that you can't go in the store and buy. And quality. And quality. It's not like, you know All what I mean? All of that, man. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's not like you overpricing it. You are, you, come on now. I'm probably, he told me I was underpricing stuff. I used to tell so. people, zero <laughs> is not a budget. And people yeah. be hitting me up. How much do you do? Like, yo, I need a video shot because I, you know, I do film and television. Okay. How much, you know, how much for a video, right? Mm -hmm. I'm like, what's your budget? They're like, um, you Good. know, I just, <laughs> I'm like, yo, zero is not a budget. So come, back, come back, come back to me. Come back to me with your budget, or better yet, come back with your treatment. Because right. I'm not trying to get anybody. Mm -hmm. I'm like, look, yeah, I'll look at your treatment, mm -hmm. and I tell you, and this, yeah. and and I give them, I give them. Clues. I'm like, yo, it's based on like cut down your locations. Mm -hmm. It's gonna cost less if you cut down. Your... Yeah. And I help them out, and they still come back like, right, right. man, I, I got, I got this right. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, do you really think you can get a quality, a quality right, video for shot want. for that? Mm -hmm. But you know, with what, editing man, included, I like that because you, do, you were not willing to undercut your own value just mm -hmm. to please them. Right. You gotta know your, you right. gotta know your, yeah, work. you gotta because know your. Because a work. lot of times when people ask for discounts. I think some people just enjoy the art of the haggle. It's oh not even God. about. I don't. I got some people do. Some people really, I think, just get off on. No, some people do. Discount, You're right. You know, You're right. Uh, shit though, I've man. had people tell no, me that. Yeah. That's not bad. I, like, I love yeah. haggling. I'm like, right. really? Yeah, and okay. it's, and no That's, disrespect, hey, you know, no disrespect. of course, everybody's <laughs> budget is different, you know. Yeah, everybody's budget is but, different. No you know, disrespect. my dad used to say, if you can't afford it, you don't need it. And if you got to ask the price, then that you are already well. Already I asked the price. Nah, you, <laughs> you, you, you can ask you, the price. Yeah, but you if know, you but, can't afford it, but no, if we, wait if you, I'm, I mean, if you have I know Morton's you and you got the menu and you're like, how much is for the duck? You know, it's like, nigga, you at Morton's <laughs> a lot, nigga. We right. here because this is a get out right, of here, right, 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 right. Leave, sir. Right. You know what I mean? That's what yeah. I mean. Like you said, leave, sir. But no, don't go to Morton's. What are you and doing here? How much? What are you doing? How what about for these chickens? This this one that could think of these. You sound like a banjo. Yeah, crazy man. Right. Uh, so and so yeah. is right down the street. So. Right, right. Yeah, nobody here is asking That's how much in your budget. Right. You're the first motherfucker to ask that tonight. A mess. Right, right, right. Damn. But um, uh, but yeah, no, you definitely like mm -hmm. I check. You know, looking at your looking at your site and everything, mm -hmm. you definitely have quality. Well, you know, you. quality stuff, and you know, I'll be purchasing from you. I haven't yet. I appreciate but it, but I will. <laughs> I'm definitely going to support. I'm okay. not just saying it for the for the camera. Right, right, right. Um, you know. Mm -hmm. So let me let me ask you this real quick. What what's your hot seller on your um on your site? Like what tees what tees get the most? You know, the um, most sales. Well, no particular design because, mm -hmm. like I said. Right now, um, my biggest focus is customs. Right. So right, right. whatever you want, but the biggest style item right now is hoodies. Yeah. Everybody yeah, no wants doubt. whatever they want on a yeah. hoodie right now. I'm probably gonna get yeah. a hoodie. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I had I had like a little topic. Okay. And um, I I'm just gonna jump. I'm just just gonna jump, jump right I'm in, jump man. In just in. jump in. <laughs> jump in. So they they had they did this thing on uh, I saw this morning they were like um, trying to uh, f Facebook not Facebook but Instagram was saying like we are gonna regulate you know all of these different features and we're gonna get the parents involved and we're gonna do make it to where you know uh, Instagram is gonna be safer for the kids now now right. now Instagram for me right like seriously like I joke about like. That had to, you know I'd be like yo don't send me you know whatever <laughs> right 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 that's a real thing but. I I have just totally gotten to the point where I can't open Instagram at work. Okay. I was in the I was in the training and I was, you know, like you just yeah. be, you know, I was yeah. listening then I just did this. And then it was this girl's ass that was just I, and but you know, and it's got they got like um they got people walking around my joint. Right. Sometimes I can't open my text messages at work. <laughs> now I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> somebody, no, no, I'm just uh, kidding. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> but 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 what what do y'all think like the impact of social media is doing to not like to I feel like we can process things better. Right. right. Thank you. Kids, yeah. man, like yeah. kid, like I'm gonna just say what I think first. First of all, I think kids are way too sensitive. What they are, they they are not like being built with the same grit. 
as the generation. You saying? You saying I, let, 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 let me let me yeah let me yeah, let me finish. <laughs> no no because because your daughter and son they I'm not including them in that because oh, they yeah. actually went through a certain no doubt they're they're too old for what I'm talking and about. and their parents are different. Mm. All right, well, so. you, I mean, how much <laughs> this thing? All right, all right. But but I'm you saying, already know. Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. I <laughs> yeah, get yeah, it. Yeah. But but I'm saying like they like require so much. Like everybody gets a trophy, or you know, like mm. um, somebody's oh. like being so celebrated for the, being third place, or, <laughs> or, or or even when they're wrong, like right. when they're dead yeah. ass wrong, the parents will mm. show up and my child, is... yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it'd be like it'd be like. Yeah, you know, he threw that brick and almost killed that girl. <laughs> he really did you know that. What? I, Look, I, he really I, did that. I think I'm gonna let you finish. See, I, 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 I did it. I see what you did. <laughs> no, I think that you're right in in some regards. Um, I think some of what we're seeing is like like the undoing of years of um. Mm. I know where you're going with trauma. Me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, mm. like my my daughter always like when I get to her, with her, she'll be like, "All right, black mama, calm down." You know, <laughs> right. But, so, right, 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 right. So I right. think some of it. I think it was well intentioned at first. Right. You know, I think you know it's good that we're getting away from the because I said so. You know, or yeah. you yeah. get in trouble and I'm just whoop your ass on sight. Right. You know, like, right. I think it's good to explain to a child why you're in trouble. You know, or, mm, you know, if you're you. having a bad day, I'm not just going to put you in time. I'm going to sit you over here till you stop crying. No, let's find out. Even though this kid is six, they still have feelings. There's a and reason And they're way why. smarter than you think they're they are at that age. They're smarter than you think. And what if someone had taught us to process our feelings when we were younger? We're just learning that now. You know what I'm saying? I I am. I don't know about y'all. We evolve. But, we evolve as yeah. as people, parents, and you know every generation. Right. So I agree with that. Now, totally with that being that. said, mm -hmm. okay, okay, I okay. do you sometimes still catch one. No. Right, <laughs> <laughs> right. I do sometimes receive you know concerned calls about things that happen at recess. Right, right, right. I, I can't see everything at recess. You mm. know, it's a bunch of kids out here on one person. Sometimes you're just gonna get hit in the head and you'll be fine. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything is not cause, you know, somebody pulled my child's hair. That's not always bullying. You know, sometimes mm. the child just pulled their hair. Everything is not cause to mm. come up to the school and show up. So, yeah, you know? some some things are just, sometimes it's just being overly sensitive, right? I think so. Yeah. yeah. You know what I think happened, man, through the social media? And I think me and L.A. talked about this a long ass time ago. And he was right way back then. This had to be probably about in like 2010 or something like that. Mm -hmm. And me and L.A. was having a discussion about social, me social media and it was happening then. And and, mm. it, and it was like, uh, I, I think that everybody has given the opportunity to have a voice, right? Mm -hmm. it, it gives like, it gives them a false sense of I'm right. Mm -hmm. They live with that voice. They live in a realm where they're like, I said this. And then they look, they got 14 likes. They think, <laughs> oh, 14 likes to some people is like, yo, that was great. Mm -hmm. Look, look, this means something. This, yeah. Nigga, that valid. ain't nothing. Right. That ain't nothing. Yeah. You, you, uh, it's just that little opinion and them little 14 people, y'all live in Greensboro, but South. Da, 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 a million likes right. ain't always nothing. I see celebrities, everybody posting, getting millions of likes, and I be like, that was some bullshit. Like, no, that's what, that, you know, yo, so, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like, like, the, like, likes have become like the validation. The, the validation. And my, my, I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go go let you jump in. But, but it's like, it's like when you have a voice, mm. you, Look, man, we can't just keep the voice in the house on the right. computer. Mm -hmm. Like you actually take it out and then you you take it to Publix now. Right. And now it's at school in the right. yard, and mm -hmm. they the voice also has like catchphrases and terms that people bullying. Mm -hmm. So like mm -hmm. little shit like that. Me and you, you was on the playground. You pull a little girl out. You weren't bullying her. You just liked her. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Or whatever. Yeah. You look, you look, that's the look on your I'm face. I thought that shit, dog. I'm not going to say nothing. Just keep it. I'm going to say nothing. <laughs> but, but, but what I'm saying like that, norm, normal shit has become, now it has a label. And right. now that it has a, that's why you did the Dave Chappelle. Yeah. 
like cancel the culture, man. You can't say that about. You trying to cancel? Oh, yeah. you can't do. And it's like we've been saying everything. Well, about he's not. The, and he's not the only one. It's like yeah. that's been doing it. Like comedians been talking. Like there's been thousands of comedians before him saying the same shit. But don't you think it's now it's Dave no Chappelle media? saying it? it and that, so, if that was no social media, that, that whole that whole thing when it got legs. Well, I half of like, no, we wouldn't yeah, even know. Exactly. Right. You know? right, right. <laughs> but but yeah. but. But you know what? Social media is here. It's a factor. Right. It's not going it's away. Yeah. I embrace it. Mm -hmm. I think it's great. Mm -hmm. I think it's. I think it's evolution of of communication. Right. It's instant news. Mm -hmm. uh, it's helpful because Definitely. a lot of times, you know what I'm saying. There's shit going on that we need to know about. Right. You don't drown in it though. No, I don't drown in it. I know you don't. You're but, not. But, you're not what I'm talking about. You right. have, talking about kids. You have a healthy. Yeah. You have a healthy interaction with sex. I, I do. This motherfucker talking about DMing me. Three weeks later, seen by Karma I'd be like, damn, he just seen. You know what I'm saying? Like he he's right. actually in the world right. doing yeah. things. Mm -hmm. like, but with, but I'm okay with kids being immersed with it because that's that's what it is. That's that's their that's that's new communication for them. That's how they communicate. That's that's part of their world. It's broken. Now right? now now I do believe it in balance. Broken. Broken. I do believe yeah. in yeah. balance, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So you know, my daughter's a she's an influencer, right? Like by herself at mm -hmm. fourteen, really. I she really had want like your sixty thousand show on her page. She will. She, she is. Got, yeah. I'll, I'll get it. Yeah, she, she, she is. She's numbers. on it. Yeah. Okay. You know, Relax. but at fourteen, I'll, she did I'll, it by herself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she did it by herself, right? But here, here's the thing. As parents, mm -hmm. you know, because now you got to think about the parents of these kids, right? Can so, what are question? you teaching? What are you? Are y'all? Do you regulate what she posts? Do you have any input on it, or is it just whatever she wants to post? I don't regulate what mm -hmm. she posts. Um, her mother does not regulate what she posts okay. because she knows better. She, she, we, we, we raised her like she's not. You know what I'm saying? She's mm -hmm. posting. Mm -hmm. I can tell. She's you posting. Tasteful, you. Yeah. you understand, mm -hmm. and and yeah, I mean, I I, it's not necessary. Yeah. We, right. we, it's not necessary. Yeah, you do yeah. your job. If you do your job as a parent, you're, gonna you're not gonna results. have to worry about it. Right. You're not hopefully, gonna have to worry hopefully. about cyberbullying. Yeah. Like, oh my, my son is cyberbullying somebody. Right. What? Right. Yeah. No, that's not gonna happen. And that's the not other gonna happen for that is for that my kids. You got you know some parents like. that push their kids out there and exploit their kids, no matter. They let them say and do anything. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just in the interest yeah, of blowing up, you know, that the same true. culture. So, you know, you raise your kids. Some of these parents need some, you know, restraints on them. You know what I'm saying? So this is, this is true. I think it, I think, like you said, it's good for kids to be immersed because this is just what life is now. But it's at here the same and it's time, it's not going away. It's not going away. <laughs> it's but not I going wish away. more parents would use parental control, supervision, because just like we got access to everything kids do too. We know how to filter and process that they don't. Right. Your brain is not fully developed until you're 29. So if I'm 10 looking at the same stuff you're looking at, I'm just like, my brain is getting fried. You know, for you, yeah. you know, you just laughing that off like, oh, this is bullshit. But yeah, for yeah, a yeah. kid, it's it's shaping how they think, you know. Yo, um, I was on the ride down here, I was talking to a good friend of mine. And um she was. She had. Um, and I'm. I'm switching subjects. I All just good. Be, I just be like. Anyway. <laughs> she, I mean, uh, it is a talk show. We talking. <laughs> LA will be like, this is not a talk show. <laughs> it's oh, a sorry. This is the definition. This is <laughs> a podcast. <laughs> oh, all right. Anyway, she uh was she was newly divorced and um. She was telling me about, um, she had sent me, uh, I said, how you doing? I sent her a text message the other day. I said, how you doing? And she said, um, man, to tell you the truth. And then she sent me a paragraph mm. of like, she, with, with pictures. Right. Of her feelings? No. <laughs> I'm like, get with Jim. Of her feelings? <laughs> Man, of her feelings? No, emojis, gifs, all that. I thought that's what. No, she, she like. had she the, the 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 information that she relayed to me had photos relating to, and it was she's bottom line. She was like, "I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed." And I said, "Um, and I just and I just liked it because I was at work doing the right. training and right. whatever. And 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 I, ever since I started this podcast and started back working, like I I don't have no time for absolutely nothing, mm -hmm. like nothing. But but but." I I said um, 
I am gonna make it my business to call her. Right, right. You right. know how mm-hmm. you know how I like mm-hmm. I almost feel like sometimes when I get that kind of stuff, like the women being duress, and I'd be like, Don't you worry about it. I'm gonna talk to you about it, girl. <laughs> right. Anyway, right, right, right. Anyway, uh I was I was telling her, she said, um, I feel like the marriage pulled everything uh, mm-hmm. out of me. Mm. She said, I feel like I don't, you know, like I'm drained. I, whenever I'm faced with something, something I got to do, I just want to stare at it now. Mm. And I said, um, "No, nah, don't, don't do that <laughs> because you, you just got started." I said, right. "The marriage didn't pull in everything out of you." I said, "The man did." Mm. Now look, oh. this is this is me. Mm. <laughs> Sean, I said, "This I said, is the me." Man. I said, "The man." <laughs> I said, I said, men are, we have been taught to kind of be like, all right, I'm at home now. I worked. I did my thing. Hey, can you wash those clothes? Can you, th- those kids, are, y'all be quiet. Look, I'm going to take a nap. Don't bother me. Like, right. like I'm going to create this fortitude. Right, right, and, right. W- and women be like, and women have to be like, your dad is sleep. And, and you, you want me to, um, and, and what, what, hold on, 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 it, it's, it's, it's just it's just a balance point. So don't yeah. I'm definitely no, I'm not, not gonna say, say I'm, not I'm definitely not nailing it down. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not <laughs> nailing it down. But yeah. what I what I said was I spoke specifically to her situation. Okay. Right, right, right. Let me get that out. <laughs> so all the, okay. specifically, to her. specifically to okay. her situation. Okay. And I said, I said, she she said, um, I lost myself. Mm-hmm. I said, no, you you were you were pulled out of yourself. Mm-hmm. Is that all his fault? That's a good question. It's not. It's nobody's fault because we, when when men act like that, they would talk to, you know, like I, I was dating a girl and, they, and the girl was like, uh, I, I was at her house and and, they, and her mom was like, you ain't gonna fix this plate. I was standing there with the plate like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I've had that happen oh before God. actually. <laughs> But you know That's what? That's a thing plate. too. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of a thing, That's yeah. Because I, I fix plates. You know, that's just right. <laughs> so you, but you see how she just, yeah. That's a, you know, that is what I like to call a grooming or an indoctrination. We at some point, at some point, no, that, well, when we all grooming got, or I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you. T- I got. It. I've said enough. I want grooming or indoctrination. I want to hear what you got to say about it. No, I, I'm just asking if it's grooming or indoctrination. Because those are two different. Those are two different things. It's both. You've been groomed okay. to be one way, and you've been indoctrinated to be that way also. Mm. When you, if you, um, if you, if you nail something down, you don't nail it once. You you hammer it until it's grooming, indoctrination. You know what I'm saying? But you yeah. know but, what? Okay, I'm gonna let you finish. All right, but. I, I feel like that doesn't give enough credit to women for being free thinkers because, yes, you can feel drained from a situation, but at what point do you stand up for yourself? Like, you not you should not stay in. I don't know how long she was married. But at, but at some point, and I don't know, and you don't have to say what factors led to their divorce, you know, a lot of things, infidelity, uh, being outgrowing each other, all this and that, but the stress and and the level of feeling drained that she felt, and I I know a little bit of that feeling. I've been married before, mm-hmm. you know. So, but at some point, you have to speak up. You got to be your own advocate. You know, you don't just let somebody run you in the ground because that's your spouse. You know, if something has happened that you feel yeah. drained by, if if your dad is sleeping. I've been at work all day and I'm expected at some point, hey, get up. You've been at work, I've been at work. Come yeah. here and help me with these kids. Or if you don't wake them up, at some point we're gonna sit down and have a conversation about our expectations. So if you don't do that, that's not all that other person's fault. You did some this... push-ups before you came over here. Did that hurt? I take it. Really... <laughs> but that's I take that's my true. Over. Right. right, right. You're like you tried. <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that mm-hmm. and I feel like um it depends on it depends on the the individuals, right? right. So here's the thing. Going into that situation before you said I do. Mm-hmm. You should have known this about the other person, mm-hmm. right? So mm-hmm. 
I, I feel like it's not a surprise. So the, there's certain things you accepted mm -hmm. coming into it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But mm -hmm. then again, sometimes what happens is you connect with somebody, you get married, and then it's not spoken mm -hmm. what the expectations are when you do actually tie the knot. Because when you're dating, you're dating. Right. You know it's what I'm saying? Good. You just when wow. you're dating, you're dating. Good point, and though. then you tie the knot, and it's like, if those things weren't spoken, boom, now you're in a situation because mm -hmm. mm. now either she or he is saying, Oh, we married. What what you what you what you think it was? Mm -hmm. What you think it was? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. this is what it's supposed to but be. But even with oh, we that, never even even, I'm gonna let you finish. I yeah, like saying not, <laughs> But with that, change the name change back. back. Let's it's say you back. Know, <laughs> change the back, your lawyers back on. <laughs> what if you let's say you do, right. you know, make your expectations known before you get married? Okay. That's like on a job. You know, on your job, I'm assuming your expectations are spelled out. You know, I started my career 22 years ago. Mm -hmm. Expectations have changed, standards have changed. Yeah, no doubt. You know, yeah. Yeah. so when yeah. you're in a relationship, a marriage, what how it starts you know old folks will say how you start is how you finish i agree with not that always. to a certain extent not but always. right when you if you're gonna grow with somebody then you gotta have those tough conversations you gotta have check-ins you gotta have check you have these check-ins whether it be right. six months a year whatever you gotta and have you these check-ins on yourself. hey this is where we yeah. at right you know what i mean but mm -hmm. you still you still set some expectations right. in the beginning right. of how of you're gonna move forward you right sh you know and I've made mistakes in the past mm -hmm. in relationships right. that I didn't set certain expectations right. in the beginning. Same you know what yeah. I mean? Mm -hmm. um, mm. And not saying that, you know, because some people be like, oh, as the man, you should. No, together, you should right. set expectations exactly. on both sides. Mm -hmm. Like, this is what I expect going right. forward. This is what we're moving towards. Like, let's, let's agree on something, mm -hmm. compromise on mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. And if we can't, then, you know, we have to have another conversation. Right. But... I mean, that helps, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of people don't do it yeah. because you, you're in the love phase, right? Mm -hmm. You're in the infatuation love phase. You're, everything is, you know, oh, mm -hmm. you know. And you know you want to be with this person. You mm -hmm. love, you, 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 and you're in love with this person. And then it's like, okay, now we're getting serious. We're, mm -hmm. we're about to, we, we about to take this next step. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? Talking about marriage, mm -hmm. right. but not really diving in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We're because talking about a wedding. Right. Right. Not right. Diving right. In. We talk about a and wedding, And the reason a, a lot of times people don't dive in right. is because they're scared, you know, they're, they're afraid that if they really truly express what they want mm -hmm. in the relationship, in that the, 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 the marriage relationship or that right. serious mm -hmm. relationship going mm -hmm. forward, that person might not agree and they might right. do this. Mm -hmm. But everything is cool right now. Mm -hmm. So, so you know what? I kind of talk about it. Mm -hmm. We kind of hint towards it and Damn, I'm going to overlook some that's, things that's, and I that's might... spot on, man. You know, I'm going to tell I'm you just... I'm going to give you credit for, man. Two things. That, it was spot on. Yeah. Another thing too, man, in a situation that I've, I actually witnessed you in, uh, one a young lady, a friend of mine, uh, you know, we was, I was like, yo, Songs and blah blah blah. Names have been changed, but that's it. Right, 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 right. Go ahead. Yep. And she, 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 she expressed her expectations, and I told you about what they was. Yep. And I'm gonna tell you, man, I was really impressed with the way that you was like, nah, then we can't rock. Yep. You was, I mean, you was really for real about that shit, and you, you have to be. respectfully though, yeah. all the respect in the world, but you knew that. <laughs> You know, you was not about to I know be, what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're and, talking and about. And let me tell you something I know men do, man. Let me tell you something I know men do. I can't separate myself from this statement. <laughs> men are getting this. <laughs> he the raised his hand high. Right. I love it. I love it. Men ownership. are getting this Take ownership. Where I own, yeah, man, everybody tell you all, all <laughs> my shit. But um, men are getting in this situation. I shouldn't even say this generally, but I am. They'll be like, uh, a woman will be like, yeah, I'm, well, you know, I want kids and I want blah, blah, blah. And man, no full and damn well he don't want no kids. Right. And he'll be like, we, we'll see. <laughs> Nigga, oh, we, nah. we already sinned. <laughs> because, you want them to tell you why we already sinned? We already sinned because right. you didn't say, yeah. I want them to. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Right. I want right. them to. We already sinned. Yeah. If you're doing the him and the hind dance, you don't want them, you don't want it. Yeah. True. Get out them full face now. 
Yeah. And that's a that's a look, that's a long term commitment right there. Yeah. That's a but that's you, a long term. But, you, but now like, your horns are showing. The, the child, yeah. the, now your horns are showing, yeah. and now we know why you really here. Why? <laughs> Might need to take a sip to say that. Wow. <laughs> you trying to you trying to do the, the horizontal dance? I mean, but you don't gotta do you don't gotta do that to do the horizontal. Right. Though, man, get out them folks' face, man. She just told you what she wants. Oh, now yeah. I had to tell myself that one time. Yeah, yeah. get out them folks' yeah. face, man. Them I folks, them folks want a hey, yes, baby yes, boy. Yes, yes. Now all of this, I uh, yeah. You know, <laughs> let me take my have calendar. You, have you experienced that where where you you set your expect not well yeah your expectations you mm -hmm. this, you said this is what I want boom 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 and then the individual I think you might have known like I don't think this person's with it right but because he didn't just dive right in like, because he people didn't do. say that I think it's kind of like what you said people will lead you to believe that they on the mm -hmm. same page as you because well, doing that, if I'm not, you said why? Right. Yeah, right. Because if I don't. <laughs> no, nah, you're fine, you're fine. If I don't, mm -hmm. then I don't ultimately get what I want, which is you. Right. You won't love me. And I think it, it, mm. it sounds cliche, but I think mm. it just boils down to. Wow. Communication. I, right Never, yeah. That was, yeah. I was been in, thought about if that. If I don't say these things and give you what you want, you're not going to give me what I want. Wow. You know what I'm so, wow. And I know wow. for a fact I have experienced that. See, know? this is why it was a good idea to have her on the show. <laughs> yeah. You know, we need, look, we need this side. Right. We need we this side. Need <laughs> no, but I feel you a thousand percent. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, wow. And you know what else I just thought about? Wow, you know, earlier a... we were talking about like, uh, the bullying culture and how right. now everybody wants a, a trophy. And, yeah, yeah. And I said, I think it boils down to uh, the intention was teaching people how to communicate and express themselves. Mm -hmm. And many of us in our age group probably did not get that in childhood. Mm, I didn't. And so as an adults, we don't know right. how to do that. We know mm -hmm. how to fly under the radar, how to stay out of trouble, how to not yeah. get a whooping, so yeah. to speak. That's yeah. what we know how to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. But we're afraid to say, I stomped off to my room because you made me mad. Because if you say, say if I said that to my mama, I would have got slapped. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I would have got a shoe thrown at you or something. And I, you know, when my <laughs> child was little, I spanked her too. But right. I, I really feel like if I had it to do over again, I probably would not have hit her. And I did a certain amount of letting her express herself, but I probably would have done more. Yeah. Understood. Because what that does is it stifles your ability to to speak up for yourself because mm -hmm. all you think is if I say that I'm gonna get in trouble mm. right and I think women do it out on the, out on the road you take that out in life yeah, yeah. and I'm gonna probably get in trouble with women but I feel like a lot of times women you know make themselves into the big big bad wolf with men you know mm. uh, how much do y'all hate to hear I need to talk to you oh I want to talk God. to you about something Woo. Call me when we get off. We I need to talk. How did it make you just, feel? Just when you hear that? Yeah, I mean, you yeah. like he said, it's, it 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 may cause it depends. Right. It depends on right. your relationship, right? But, but so it might be a little anxious. You might have some right. anxiety. And, I, and I'm with not that. saying Man, that. Don't that don't mean, mean something. That. You that don't means good. something. That's yeah, everybody. But yeah. Let me tell nobody you in the because... world is gonna tell you I need to tell yeah, you. No doubt. And you cool with it? Not at your job. Not your girl. Nobody. Because a lot of times, if I was to say that to you on the phone today, bro, I need to. To you, you'd be like, damn, <laughs> yeah. damn, what I do? I know, what yeah, I right, do? right, 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 right. So, yeah, that's valid. <laughs> no, go but ahead, we don't know, we don't, we, you know, don't make ourselves approachable because it's in us to be like, you're gonna get in trouble when you get home, you know, right? Or, you know, for men and women too, sometimes it's okay, let me say the right thing so I don't get in trouble. And I think that's from years and years of not being able to express yourself. So when you get older, you don't know how to do it. You know what to say to not get in trouble. You know yeah. what to say right. to get your way, right. but you don't know how to be real. Right. What mm. if somebody taught you how to be real years ago? Mm. Like you said in the situation, Woo, listen to if that. you weren't somebody with somebody something, taught you how to be real you were just, years ago. Yeah, yeah. Damn, that should go on a t-shirt. <laughs> Maybe the, it will. From the Georgia Sweet right. Tea yeah. yeah. Yeah, so. That's I do. Right I there. think about like with your friend, and I, you know, speaking for myself, I will admit I've been married twice. In my first marriage, I did not speak up for myself. I just rolled with it. You yeah. know, he yeah. had a very strong personality, and 
a lot of times stuff would be eating at me on the inside and then I wouldn't say anything. Then I just blow up and then we argue. Mm -hmm. You can't function See, like that. You know, it's crazy how like years later people, you know, people. Well, turn. you talking about 20 right. years ago. Right. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm yeah. Because like, yeah. you be like, the, the groomer didn't do this shit. I'm going to call these motherfuckers right now and shit. And I'd be like, so they, they just did like, it's just three dollars. <laughs> communication is, communication. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm like, I'm the you speak Maya the Angelo said you teach people how to treat, treat you. you. Yeah. So yeah. if you just let everything slide, it, it could be the dog groomer, a situation that happened with my dog. <laughs> <laughs> right. Or it could be anything, said, but if you groomer. don't speak up, yeah. then people feel like, oh, that's just Sean. She'll be all right. Right. That's just her. She'll and be if okay. You let it, you if know? you let it keep it's going, mm -hmm. it's going to be all right. But if you know I'm going to speak up and tell you, not wolfing up at you, but just like, hey, man, I ain't really appreciate when you did such and such, then you won't want to do that again. Absolutely. You know? So I agree. I'm going to let you finish. <laughs> it's time. Uh, I got one. Okay. She already know. She watched those. She already know how I go. I ain't even explain that shit. Rose? You ain't got to. I nah, know. Rose is nah, later. Nah, Rose is later. Oh, I'm sorry. She jumping the gun. Nah, I done gave her too much credit. Right, right. 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 <laughs> Announce yourself. <laughs> Where the pepper spray? I got you. Um, Waffle House or IHOP? Waffle House. I swear to God that was on mine too, but I got another one too. Um, Negro, we gonna Waffle talk House. about mine. You say what? Waffle House. Oh. So let me tell you something though. When I first came to Atlanta. Y'all niggas want to get shot. Look, see, nah. When I first. You from Atlanta. You want to get shot. When I first came to Not Atlanta, I was like. I, shot. I, 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 like Waffle House. I was team IHOP. <laughs> I was team IHOP all the way when I first came. And then I was like. And actually, when I first came, I was like, Waffle House is greasy and dirty. Every it Waffle is. House I've been to is dirty, greasy and nasty. I felt like it was greasy and dirty. It's it definitely was. greasy. You know what I'm saying? There are some dirty. clean Waffle Houses, but, I ain't seen one. you know, but uh, <laughs> you say Alpharetta. I ain't seen one. They in Alpharetta. But, they don't have no but, Waffle House in Alpharetta. But, <laughs> I just saw one. But let me tell you, and you know, Unexpected. you know, without, without. <laughs> <laughs> to my surprise. To my surprise. <laughs> right, right, right. Waffle House. Yeah. Well, my cousin stay at Johns Creek, and some of those are, like, way cleaner than the ones, you know. Right. But. They got a concierge. Let me tell you something. You had to make a reservation. When I first came, I was I team IHOP. Martina. I was like, man, Waffle House is whack, blah, blah, blah. But then staying out late, you know, studio nights coming late, like, man, man, I'm hungry. You Only thing open is Waffle home. House. Yep. Bam, you going to Bam. After a while, you're That's like, you know what? Everything. Waffle if House I have is... to use you to cure my discrepancy. <laughs> first of all, the sign looks like a ransom note. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> the sign looks you know like how people, you know. I, 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 I see some the letters, letters together. together. Yeah. And if one of the letters out there might say awful house. <laughs> awful yo, house. Jim, Jim Gaffer gonna go, he's gonna sue me because that's in his routine. Yeah, you know I like I like white comedy. Anyway, okay. he said that. But it's the like yo, like yeah. that's true. And like, yo, man, like it's it is the it's the only one out of the two I I keep hearing that people get shot yo. and die at. I, Why I'm, is I'm that? feeling Waffle House though, man. I'm sorry. I I was team. I, like I switched Kelly over too. I switched. I wanted, <laughs> you want my mother that can just walk through fire and just be like, I like this. I don't give a But you know what's crazy? <laughs> People come. <in>, nah. <laughs> I just told him he can be killed at nah. that motherfucker, and he said, I don't know, man. I'm but them hash browns though. Yeah. yeah. I, got, but I have to sober I'll be up. killed. I'll, I'll be killed <laughs> eating smother covered exactly. and uh, smother covered chopped uh, hash browns. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm telling you, you with that shit. I told agreed. you I was with Waffle House. I like what you like. Two more minutes. <laughs> he said he like two more minutes. Time. I like so look, look, I got one for you. Dunkin' Donuts or Krispy Kreme? Mm. <laughs> you gotta get this shit right, man, from Atlanta now. Don't play. Oh. I'm not. <laughs> No, I know them motherfuckers. So, they then came out with little sausage biscuits and shit. Don't 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 get fooled by that. You know them. what? Whenever I go to Dunkin' Donuts, I don't even get donuts. I don't. Get I get coffee. coffee or you know the little fake and the avocado. Coffee ain't sauce. the same either. But no. So hey, what, man, that leads that, I mean, that actually adds to their value in this conversation. By the way, just keep this. <laughs> that ain't nobody buying the donuts. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, the donuts are trash. I'm sorry. And they and they keep trying to reinvent themselves. They, they got these crazy donuts now. It's like they got the turkey Thanksgiving donut. Mm -hmm. They got some 
like a marshmallow and when you turkey on top of the donut and is crazy icing and <laughs> decorations on the yeah. damn donut. I'm yeah. like, come on now. Krispy Kreme? That's crack. That's that's we're, uh, that's that's yeah, that's, yeah, we're all that's respect, crack pastry. We agree, we agree that's agree that's crack pastry. I'll be say, like, I'm you see say. that red? You see that red light? I Look. thought tell you to give him your Atlanta card because I thought you was about to knock Krispy Kreme. Hell no! You we, almost lost it with Waffle House. Man, they're marching to the border <laughs> with that shit. No, you see that red I'm light go on? Right. Like, the Waffle House shit. You're like, I gotta have it. I, I gotta like the taste of rat poison. Yeah. Yeah. With cheese though. <laughs> right, right, right. Poison with cheese. cheese. Rat poison with cheese. Face ass. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta, um, you got one. You Yo, you gotta. You can, you can throw one. Yeah, you seen the show this Um, season. you know, this is the fourth know episode. Right. You know the either routine. Or. You know the routine. I don't routine. know. I'm on the spot. Um, so it has to be like an either or type thing. No, right. I you mean, can do rap. You can do whatever, whatever. Oh, don't I gotta got be food. So with women, mm -hmm. um, natural hair or straight hair? Team weeks. natural. Both. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. Like you, you're gonna yeah. get some titty pics. Some titty pics. <laughs> you're gonna get some titty both. pics in your No, video. no, listen, listen. Uh, I'm not just saying that I, wow. I both because I, I'm just well, I like natural. I just like that shit. I just really like that shit. You know what nah, I'm saying? I say both mm -hmm. because I don't hate the other one though. Right. You could say both, but she I mean, I'm gonna play the game. The game asks you to choose one. Right. Her shit looks dope. I like, I like, it's I like it. It looks though, nice. Thank you. It looks nice. <laughs> like she's done. She, it, it's nice, and I like the color at the end too. Okay. So look, look. I'm gonna go out on the like though, natural. I'll say this. I got a picture of her with her shit. First natural. of all, <laughs> first better, of all. Yeah. Oh, look, look better. better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Better. I had an okay. airport. I ain't gonna show either. it to you because I know how she feel about it. Right. I know how she feel about it. She didn't want me to bring it up. No, I did not know she was gonna bring it up. Yeah, I like do that. I like both because. A lot of times, I see the natural, like some of the naturals look amazing, right? Mm -hmm. Incredible. I like it. But then, like, you know, there's nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You and you got, you got, you got these the 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 Afrocentric community, like you know that that mm -hmm. that's hardcore, like. Right. Like yo, sis, you don't love why yourself. you got it? You don't love yourself. Yeah. You're dying your hair. You're doing this. You're doing that. You can do whatever you want. It's right. your, it's your I body. Like it's your hair. It's yeah. your whatever you want. That I don't mean that. you don't love yourself. I agree with that that I does agree not that. mean you don't love yeah, yourself. I do both. And I they say that. your body yeah. is a temple, so you might want to express yourself, express you yourself in different I ways. Agree with that. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, like whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm whatever about it. And I hate when that. people say that. I'm gonna let shit you too. finish this about a preference though, and I yeah. prefer. You prefer. You're not wrong. Prefer. You prefer? I would prefer for it to be natural. I okay. like it. Okay. I like how free she is. It's, okay. It says more about her to do it natural. Does it? In my mind. Okay. Perm in the hair or even a curly weave with no. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, LL. You're right. Yo, this is not this is not me like, no, not not that shit. It's it's yeah. like, yeah, that that's what I don't say about her. You said it says She's more. Bold. I really love the I the I There's some bold being, there's boldness in that. Because it's not accepted in jobs like For this. that reason. Right, yeah. Like, for that for reason. For that reason. Yeah. And yeah. you know me, man. I'm the type of motherfucker that run red lights. I'd be like, shit, I got it. You 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 are I'm there. Not, I don't conform you are easy. I don't conform. No, yeah. So, so I mean, so yeah. you like what it represents. I like what it represents. Okay. Roll this. Okay. So I'll go first. Unless you want to go first. I'm gonna let you go first. Okay. You stole mine last time. Uh -oh. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> I didn't know that we and came I, up with the same awesome one. That was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So what's crazy too is I I thought of the Waffle House thing. I mean, the um, was it? It wasn't. What What did you do just now with the? I'm gonna let you finish. A Waffle House, uh -huh. right? I I had that too. That's why I had a backup. I, had it on I was my like Facebook page yeah. for a week, sir. So roses win, for me, so. roses for me. Um, I wanna I wanna give roses to Shaka Khan. Nice. So, uh -huh. so I nice. love Shaka Khan. Um, she's definitely an icon. I do think she gets. I do think she gets recognition and props, but I think she needs to get more. You know what I mean? And she just did a versus. I don't give. I don't. I don't care what nobody says. You know what I'm saying? Like whether she was drunk, high, whatever. We need to embrace. <laughs> I didn't none of that shit. We need to embrace. I didn't watch it. I, 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 I heard all the comments and yeah. all the. Or, and and they said she was drunk. Not all of them were negative, but there were some negative comments. And I say fuck y'all because Shaka Khan. Jeez. Um, I, I, no, 
That's I respect yeah. I'm sorry. When I say that, 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 that's a straw. Oh man, damn. We all on the podcast, right? So look, <laughs> so look no, seriously, yeah. seriously. The reason I say that is because I'm gonna put it in this context. I was rooting for Whitney Houston. Mm. I wanted her to come back and do. I mm. wanted her to do a. Yeah. You know, I wanted her to come back and and do well and and just be back on top. You mm-hmm. understand? And mm-hmm. that's that's our sister. That's our that's you know that's that was our big sister. Right. You know, in my opinion, mm-hmm. like I wanted her to do well. I mm-hmm. wanted her to come back on top. I wanted her to you know kick you know kick her addiction, which she was mm-hmm. doing well. She was on the road to recovery, and it was so tragic that we lost her mm-hmm. the way we lost her. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Shaka, not saying that she got a a problem, so to speak. We don't know this, but there's, there's like assumptions going out there. I don't care. That's why I said, you know, I'm not going to say it again. But That's why I gave the finger because those that are saying that about her, you need to embrace her. You know How what I'm saying? How old is she though? Is she like 70? No. Well, she? She's not 70. <laughs> she's what? not 70. But listen, she mm-hmm. she's older. She's definitely older. However, she she's a fantastic artist. She has a big heart. You understand? Mm-hmm. She speaks her mind. Right. She's a, you know, again, a fantastic artist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yo, yo, her catalog is crazy. crazy. Like, for the interest of time, I'm going to give the B-side of that 45. Yeah, go ahead. Me and my homeboy sell. I bring cell up a lot though. Y'all my, that's my like that's like the other side of my hand. Like mm-hmm. that's my, my, my voice. But um Cell sent me a photo of Shaka Khan one mm-hmm. day. And she was a young lady. And I and I saw it. I said, she's gorgeous. Listen, mm-hmm. listen. And she still is gorgeous. Yeah, she is. To me. She is, yeah. Now for the interest of a young lady being in our presence, I'm not gonna say exactly what I said. <laughs> but but it was not it was like it was a high compliment. Right. And you know what he said to me? He said, hey, man, she was 16 at the time. Mm. And I said, oh, I feel like <laughs> somebody might call somebody on me. I don't that. see nothing wrong. No, <laughs> he's pretty right. crazy. You know how I feel about that. I know. You got it. it. No, I, no, I, but, you, but, when I, but, but when he told me, I thought she was like, shit. Yeah, I mean, she yeah. looked like, I was like, she is, Shaka Khan was so, Stunningly, stunningly, like good yeah, looking. Absolutely. And like, it's a funny absolutely. story. Like he was like, he was like, "Hey man, she was 16. I, I'm gonna send you the photo, and I'm gonna tell you so you see. I ain't gonna man, let you trick I you love, and shit like I how love, he did me. I love Shaka yeah, Khan. You, man. Yeah, you, you, I you, love you, Shaka Khan. So you, you, I know you wanted to talk about that versus, but I, I, I was like, yo, I actually don't know enough. Like the, yeah, you know, the, the, the hits the, and all that. It, her you know, just be you talking, but uh, that's my Shaka Khan story. Okay, <laughs> but uh, you got roses. Oh, um, I don't know. I guess I should have prepared for that part. Yeah, well. <laughs> You got roses. Yeah, so, I do, man. I'm look, glad you, you didn't say it. I'm going to think about it. While he's, think about you know, it. Yeah. <laughs> while he's doing it. My his. roses is the ultimate roses, man. I want to give my roses to that, to the best black actor that I know. Not know personally, but <laughs> like, I like whenever this guy drops a movie, I'm showing up. Black actor. I'm showing up. You can guarantee. And that's Mr. Denzel Washington. <laughs> Denzel Washington. <laughs> like, Case is on all oh, you, you bitches. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's funny. <laughs> Yo, and I guarantee I actually I'm don't do put cases on, on every on. last one of you. No. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I'm not even doing the voice right. I don't Yo, know, I sound but listen, stupid. but listen, but listen though, but listen though. That guy literally, you know how like sometimes my dad, my dad was in the house. You know, I didn't. I was not where, in a situation where I was raised fatherless. Mm-hmm. You know, and I and I got a lot from him, but he was not. He was not always there because he was a hustler. He was. Right. He was here, da, 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 and we called him on the weekends, and he took us. You know, you know, blah blah. But I took things from Denzel mm-hmm. that my daddy should have gave me. Mm. Mm. And and then you could say Denzel, Denzel helped raise you. Nah, right. Yeah. As a, but I was an adult though. 
<laughs> right, I right, was right. grown, okay. and and I like when I when you. I start when I decided like, hey man, look, don't go into the job with your shirt tail out, or when it, you know what I'm saying when it when it dawned on me, hey look, you can actually present better than you do, or you can be you can you know you can be more polished and have more decor. That came from Denzel, mm. and, and and um he was he was just like to me. The example of I used to say this about Jay Z, mm. and I kind of like mixed the two because right. they both was like, but they, I think Jay, Jay Z was more on the the, the financial like admiration side, and, right, right. and and Business Denzel was more yeah. like the social like, yo man, you should actually carry yourself this way. It right. wouldn't be, but yo, I know that if uh, when Prince like when Prince died, I stepped outside of the job. Oh, mm. I was like, I <laughs> no. Oh. I mean, no, I'm not trying to be bigger than crying, crying right now. I'm not, bigger than, I'm not trying to be bigger than crying. He cried, he cried in the car. I cried in the car. I did cry in the car. But I stepped, car. I just stepped right. outside of the job. Like, My allergies was acting up when yeah. Prince died. Right. My <laughs> allergies was acting up. And Kobe. But I, know, but, but, I know, but I know if I looked them down in my phone and I was at work and they said, Denzel, I'm, I'm, I'm gone. I'm going, I'm leaving. You're going to clock out. I'm going to, I need that. Yeah. And that actually that's how I feel about Denzel. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like he actually was a real thing in my mind to follow. Nice. You know. Yeah, that's a good that's a good one, man. Yeah. I and I yeah, I I, lo I love Denzel. He got to get roses man. while he's, he's still alive wow. in my in He's my a life. he's a stand up, you know, from 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 what I see. Well, first of all, he's a great actor. Definitely. I don't know his personal life too too much but it, he but seems you like a real crazy about him. don't uh, never hear him in like yeah. crazy scandal mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know yeah you don't be hearing shit crazy nah. about me neither though so <laughs> 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 LA like, no, so, you got room shit nigga all i've been um, hearing is crazy <laughs> shit about your ass <laughs> y'all don't hear nothing normal about your motherfucking ass can that i get can i get my roses <laughs> I feel like I need to do this to you. Twelve minutes. <laughs> he said two minutes. <laughs> two minutes, two minutes. Oh, it was it wasn't the one there. It was just okay. two. So I'm gonna give my roses to somebody that I don't know a whole lot about. Okay. But he just recently passed, um, Virgil Abloh. <sighs> and the reason I say that is because okay, so I was introduced to him through my friend's son when he was about 15. And he was all into the off-white and all that. And I would look at the stuff and be like, this this ain't even cute. Like, what is this? You know? But listen to his story. I think he used to be like a, what, civ a engineer, architect or something like that. Mm -hmm. yep. And he just spent engineer. that into yep. fashion. Mm -hmm. And then everybody bought in. And then he was like, what, the creative director for Louis Vuitton or something? Yeah. So I just admire those steps. I admire his courage, you know taking his vision, spinning it, and making everybody buy in. Because that's not easy. You know, mm -mm. So. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Also, just for a heads up going forward, if you ever <laughs> I know what you was about to say. No, no, no. It's great. She did great. <laughs> she did do great. But your roses have to be And it was on the spot. Yeah, well, they have to be alive. They have to be alive. Because yeah. it's roses Rose while they're yeah. still here. Yeah. Okay. You're it's right. all good. How but time we got but I'm glad you gave Virgil Rose. Right, no time. You. We ain't got, got no you. time. I was okay. going to say, you got two seconds to come up with one, but we No, this yeah, I oh, mean, he wouldn't let us do it. Uh, okay, okay, he wouldn't let us do it. If she we can do it. absolutely. Right, right. I see. So <laughs> if you get, if you if you have another one, but I'm I'm glad that you you know I love Virgil. Yeah, it's you know, we mentioned him last. It time. is good to mention him though. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be like he yeah. don't count. All but you're right though. though. Roses are for the yeah, yeah. <laughs> So um, okay, so I'll give them to just a group. Can I give them to a group? You cool. can do that. Okay, so I'm gonna give my roses to teachers everywhere. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Um, and because <laughs> we don't get enough shine, you know, it's yep. hard anyway, but especially now. Um, can you imagine me trying to get my roses to the people at my job, dog? <laughs> that she that was that actually was necessary, yeah, yeah. definitely, yeah. especially now. You know, a lot of people are quitting, you know, yeah. it's hard I to stay in you. there. So, I salute yeah. you for that for, okay. for that job because yeah, I know I, I know a few teachers as well, so mm -hmm. and they, you know. I mean, definitely underpaid. If I feel like teachers, are, teachers should get paid like doctors get paid. That's I true. agree. They yeah. really should agree. because you're shaping yeah. the minds, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, our future minds, and mm -hmm. you know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So definitely, that's that's a great, that's a great, uh, 
That's great. They have to be, be better <laughs> motivated. I mean, they have to do they have to do a lot of shit, man. That you know, a lot that they actually don't. You know, it's and in, a lot of teachers, a know? lot of teachers are a safe place for kids. Like Definitely. kids right. are having yeah. problems at home, mm -hmm. and they come to school. Yep. Their teacher is their safe place. Right. That that classroom is the safe place. For and them. the school you don't know what's going yeah. on at home. There's right. a lot of shit going on out mm -hmm. there in the world. Mm -hmm. That's true. And Teachers are counselors. They right. they ain't just teaching. Mm -hmm. They're they're you know therapists. They're yeah. counselors. They're all of that. To when kids. schools were closed, I mean, you know, some teachers were still doing home visits. You know, the schools were dropping out food. You know, yeah. dropping off clothes. Yeah. That still happens. So you know, and that's 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 great. Yeah. Your social media. No, nah, we don't need to do that. They know they know where to find us. Where where can they find you? Oh well, um, on IG it's at. Georgia underscore sweet underscore tees. Okay. okay. And ours 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 will be posted. You know, you know where to find us. I feel like I should I should just start a new one. Why? So like Well if I you start get... a new one then drop drop the info. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, should start a new one? Too. Why? Yeah. You getting hacked? No, nah, I be getting the shit that I get. You just sent like, me a friend request. I said, this ain't D-Trail. Yeah. I said, yo, look. I said, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, I look, you me. inbox me hey, talking about, hey, hey do you I know about look. the joys of Bitcoin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know how lucrative it is? Hey, drop your cash app. I'm right. doing a giveaway. This is amazing. Right. I have to show you. You could flip whatever. Yeah. Right. Man, get, I'm Show like, I mother. know D Trill ain't sent me this. <laughs> well, <no. laughs> wow. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. Thank this you. Is, this thank is you this has been me. great, man. Yeah. I really Definitely. enjoy Definitely. having Definitely. you. I really Definitely. enjoy Definitely. having you. I wanna come Appreciate back. It. I just yeah, you're always myself. welcome. You're always welcome. <laughs> always welcome. welcome you always have a spot yeah, here. Cool. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate it. And we yeah. appreciate y'all for um, you know, logging on, tuning in, yeah. clicking yeah. the link. Yeah, like and share, like and share, like and share. Just, you know, um, we just getting started. So, you know, mm -hmm. um I I got a lot of a lot of good feedback, man. Uh, you know. All right. Yeah. Peace out. Peace out. Next time.